If you if you lack peace in your life, with the situations going on in your, with the conflicts in your life, you have to stop and examine yourself and say, do I really believe? Having looked at the storm on the Sea of Galilee, let's look at one other storm, historical, epic storm now, right? Mm -hmm. And it was, it was an epic storm along with an epic testimony that shows the evidence of a redeemed life. It's recorded in Acts chapter 27. When Paul was being, remember, if you know this account, Paul had gone to Jerusalem, he got arrested, mm -hmm. thrown into jail in Caesarea, and now he's being transported. After spending two years in jail in Caesarea, he's being transported to Rome to go and stand trial before Caesar himself. So he's being, he's, there, he's being transported by ship as a prisoner, okay? And an incredible storm arose that threatened the lives of 276 people aboard that ship, saints and sinners alike. Now, with a growing despair and panic, all the sailors, all the soldiers, and all the prisoners aboard gave up their hope of being saved from the storm-tossed sea. That's what it says in Acts 27, 20. They gave up all hope, all except for one. The Lord sent an angel, a messenger, to Paul mm -hmm. during that great storm to tell him that he would stand before Caesar. And Paul listened and had a peace that passed understanding. Think of what Paul said. This is Acts 27, 25, and please listen to what this says. This is Paul speaking in the midst of one of the greatest, I mean, every, they're all given up. These are experienced people, tough Roman soldiers. Right. Not experienced wins. sailors, no. And they've given up all hope of salvation. They're going to die at sea. Right? And Paul says, Therefore, keep up your courage, men, for I believe God that it will turn out exactly as I have been told. Paul had perfect peace. You know, thinking about that, when if the Lord has told you something, and you say, Yes, I believe that, but it's not coming to pass that when you think it should be. So then you start, you move out on your own and try to make it happen. That's our fallen human nature. And that's why, you know, we're going to get into another fruit of the Holy Spirit somewhere mm -hmm. along here, another part of that evidence, uh, you know, that you, you can take before the judge and say, here, I want to enter this into evidence, and that's patience. Yes. One of the examples of peace is a lady that we all know, Bob and Pam. God told Pam that she would marry Wow. Oh, yeah. Yes. If you want to tell that story, it might be a good little indicator. Yeah, kind of long. Well, yeah, kind of long. It's just she, 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 she stood yeah. fast. She yeah. stood fast on what yeah. God did. No, told Mark her. has a, a good point. I mean, that Pam had heard from the Lord mm -hmm. that she was going to marry Bob. Yes. I mean, before before they really even knew each other. Exactly. And she actually heard that she's going to get married to the person that walks in. Yes. And, and that was Bob. Yes. Yeah. Bob. But she had an absolute confidence in what she had heard from the Lord. Right. And it was a, uh, I mean, Pam was living with Alice and I in community at the time. And it was a very, uh, there were troubled waters. It was those challenging. Days. <laughs> <laughs> there were some troubled waters, my friend. The sea was angry that day. Yes. Uh, but through that, I mean, you know, Pam's family, her, her father was, you know, all upset. And people were all upset because, you know, things were just going haywire at times. And Pam had a perfect peace because she believed that it would turn out exactly as she had been told. And, you know, that's the point is, this is where this peace had passed. When, when the Lord says, my peace I give you, well, it doesn't come in a, a package. It comes in a word. And it goes into action. It's activated. You know, it's like God speaks that word to you. You receive that word. It's activated by your belief. We overcome by faith. Right? Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the, I mean this is all connected. It's all, it's all connected. it is the word of God is the only logical mm -hmm. thing that I have ever found Absolutely. in my life. Absolutely. It, it, there is perfect logic in God. He is not a God of confusion. He is a God of good order. And it all fits together. So, but again, what we see when Paul stands here on the on this storm tossed ship, which sank by the way. Yes, it did. With none lost. None. None. Because that was God's promise. He didn't promise that the storm would go away. He didn't promise that Paul and the rest wouldn't get wet. 
He promised that they would make it through. Mm -hmm. Okay? This is one of the things you have to understand because one of the problems that we face in the church today is too many churches are teaching, well, if you believe, you know, all, is, all the storms go away and there's no trouble. Well, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. You know, I've quoted the verse earlier from, from Psalms. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Right. And we wouldn't have to be told that we can consider it all joy when we encounter these various trials, that we exult in our tribulations, because it, those trials, those tribulations are going to be there. But the thing is, we walk through them in perfect peace because we believe what God said.